Which country comes into your mind when you think about economic prosperity and wealth? You might have a few countries in mind, but the most notable ones are the United States of America and China. So what do these countries have that the others don't? And what makes these countries so powerful that the whole world recognizes them as superpowers? Let's look into why these countries do so well economically. Today, in this video, we will be discussing about the United States. Stay tuned for part 2 of this series where we will be discussing about the next big player that is China. So let's get moving. America is known to have the world's strongest military, the world's largest gold reserve and is home to the largest consumer market in the world with a GDP of $20 trillion. Household spending is also the highest in the world, accounting for more than a quarter of global household consumption. But things weren't always like this. There was also a time when the country struggled for freedom. There was also a time when they were poverty laden. So what did the US do? And how did they emerge as one of the most economically stable countries? Well, to understand this, we need to go back to the country's founding, back to when America wasn't a global power. You see, the America was a place inhibited by the indigenous group of Mongoloids until an explorer named Christopher Columbus ended up at their shores. This began the race for colonization and countries like Spain, France and Britain brought in the wholesale slaughter of these indigenous group who populated the country. From the 1800s, the Industrial Revolution began and the US was involved in the shift from manual labor industry to technical based industry, which greatly increased the overall production and economic growth of United States. This allowed the US to unilaterally push its influence abroad. What played a major role in the US spurt to growth was the isolationism that it practiced during the World War I. During the rise of Hitler, many European countries were subject to war, which led to many industries closing down. The erratic socio-political and economic conditions surrounding the regions led to the Great Depression. But during this time, the US was more focused on its own affairs rather than the European ones. In 1916, US output overtook the entire British Empire. The United States now became the biggest export hub which would prove to be one of the greatest catalysts for their economic dominance. After the World War II, big organizations such as NATO and the United Nations were formed. Amongst these events, the Bretton Woods Agreement was also signed. Under this system, gold was the basis for the US dollar and other currencies were pegged to the US dollar value. What this did on the global scale was that it solidified the US dollar currency as the new standard by which other currencies were valued. This set the stage for the US to be known as the economic powerhouse. And although this system was dissolved in the 1970s, two biggest financial institutions, the IMF and the World Bank were the result of this agreement. Now by creating these institutions, the United States committed itself to being deeply involved in the world's problem. The United States saw the Soviet expansion as a direct threat to its vision of a free trading world and thus created NATO, a military service meant to stop Russia from invading other countries. This led to many cold wars over various different regions of the world, but solidified US alliance with many countries in turn helping the US with fluid trade deals with these regions. All these events culminated, set the stage for the US to become the strongest economy in the history of mankind. As the largest consumer market in the world, the US became the new land of opportunity and saw a massive influx of immigrants from all over the world. The US preached the idea of general liberty and offered idealism that was incredibly different from the rest of the world. Immigration brought a lot of different cultures and minds to the US, which in time spurred innovation and advancement. Today, the leading tech industries, innovation centers, and financial institutions like Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, NASA, and Tesla all belong to the United States. 
and amounts to make the US a 21 trillion dollar economy which is the world's largest economy. So this was the summarized version of a very long story that led to the economic prosperity in the US. The United States took advantage of every notable event in the past century at the correct time and that led the country to be a superpower now. Great leaders, correct laws and decisions made at the correct moment made all the difference to build US as it is now. Now in part 2, we will talk how did the US's adversary China climb the economic ladder. And if you liked our content, smash the like button and hit the subscription button down below. We will come up with similar content. Until next time, me out.